for me personally, it's been, um, it was a challenge because you, you come across at the beginning and you have this big plan, you know, and uh, it doesn't work out exactly that way. Uh, personally, I think that uh, growth in my patience in, in teaching and, um, and uh, disappointment, uh, handling disappointment and, and handling expectations and, and, um, and learning, you know, from every experience and learning to find the, the opportunity to grow and knowing that, that there really isn't any failure in what you do, that there's only growth, you know, and then finding a way to celebrate Finding a way to celebrate small victories and small things and, and using those small victories to propel you into the next contest. We couldn't train the way we wanted to. It's really hard to improve when you're not being challenged in practice. You know, practices need to be harder than games. And unfortunately for us, we didn't have the luxury of making practices more challenging than games. You know, a lot of stuff was three on three and you know, kind of against coaches, and um, they didn't go against equal or better talent every day. You know, it was more of, um, it was easy. Practices were easier. We wanted to preserve their bodies because they were playing so many minutes. So next season, I'm hoping to, you know, that practices are a lot more challenging than they were this past season. I'm extremely proud of, of the guys. You know, we, we said we're gonna run a race. You know, we wanted to run that race all the way to the end. Um, that we were not going to jog it out at the end. We wanted to sprint into the finish and almost stretch out at the end to see if we could um, gain a little more success by doing that. And um, they did. Yeah, I feel like they did. I feel like they really stretched it out, that uh, the circumstances could have been different, but I think that they genuinely respected the game. They appreciated the opportunity to wear a uniform um, and compete all the way to the last buzzer of the season. I think as a young coach, the one piece of advice that I got was every day spend some time building your culture. And um, I do believe that the culture in the locker room was really healthy this year. I wanted John and Jalen to enjoy their senior season. Um, and enjoying it didn't necessarily, necessarily mean wins and losses. That would have been the bonus, but it was the camaraderie between them and their teammates um, that they felt that their team was fighting for them every day, knowing that it was their last season, that their coaches were fighting all the way to the end for them to make sure that they had an opportunity to be successful. It was really important for us as a staff that those two had a good year. Our fans were phenomenal. There were times um, that uh, on the bench, I, I was yelling and screaming because guys couldn't hear me. You know, the fans got into it. Um, they supported us when they needed to. Uh, I know we were in a lot of close games, you know, by one point, two points, losing at the buzzer. Um, and, and you can tell their hearts were in it, you know. Um, as a coach, you want to build a program for your fans, you know, and to see them bring that type of energy into the building. It's really energizing and exciting and, you know, kind of injects you as you go into the off season to, you know, recruit harder, and do more, and um, kind of takes, uh, it makes it a little easier, you know, when you show up to work knowing that you have tremendous fan support. And I'm, I'm so thankful for every single person that showed up in the building. You know, our fans were loyal, they were, you know, um, and I'll say it again, I'm really thankful for their support.